Welcome back to a new episode. Today we are absolutely going to be talking about the Tesla truck. And by the way, I have my order in for this truck. So let me talk to you guys a little bit about what I think. Tesla is the only company that I could see pulling this off. I don't think there's any other company, not Ford, not GM, not anyone else that would take such a drastic move towards changing what we perceive as a truck and putting it out there to the public you got to give credit where credit is due. So if nothing else, this is beautiful. And you see the crazy part about this is in the first five to 10 minutes after that truck was unveiled, I've seen more comments than I can count about confusion. Is this really it? Is Tesla punking us? To me, this is the ugly part. The fact that we think that a futuristic look, something that all of us at one time or another have pretty much longed for. We've all wanted something different. We've all wanted and needed something that stood out. We wanted to see something from that childhood movie that we saw and it was set in the future. But yet when Tesla puts out a very futuristic truck, everybody's questioning it. To me, this is the ugly part. Let's talk about this for a second. Let's talk about the design of the truck. It's beautiful in my eyes. It is everything I've wanted ever since I was a kid. No matter what movie I watched, every single futuristic movie had a specific design, had a specific soul. And frankly, I just wanted to be in that future. I've always wanted to be in that future. Tesla looks like they're going to give me that opportunity in about two years, maybe three. Finally, a company that is willing to step out and go into the future, move towards the future. You see, the legacy manufacturers, they never interested me. I looked into every truck I could. I've tried to like trucks. I am a general contractor by trade, and I will not drive a truck unless I must. Why is this? The key reason is because to me, trucks are boring. You see, if you look at most truck sales, it's not bought by people in my profession or in the construction industry or farmers. They're bought by everybody. Your local Joe Blow has a truck. Uh, some kid at university has a truck. Uh, people have trucks. Not because they need them, but because they want them. This truck, when unveiled, I had to really look at it and make sure that this is what I, I've seen. I see a futuristic truck. But is the futuristic truck the only part that we should be seeing? The performance? Undoubtedly, it's a Tesla performance. Something all Tesla owners are accustomed to. But the general public who doesn't drive Teslas, they have no clue. They don't understand this. They don't understand the true performance you get out of a Tesla product. Is the usability truly there? Well, remember how I said I've never seen a truck I liked? There's a reason for it. It's all a matter of how I can use it. It's all a matter of how functional it is for me as a person, not only in my everyday work life, but in my personal life as well. Well, Tesla did a beautiful job on this too. With a 10,000 plus towing capacity, 3,500 load capacity, you are looking at a truck that's extremely usable, very usable. And of course, having the ability to, well, have the 110, 220 outlets helps. Onboard compressor in my field definitely helps. Plug in there whatever I want. 16 inch ground clearance is enormous, especially if you're talking about construction sites and a body that is going to withstand me, you know, hitting it with a two by four because I am brain dead that particular day. You can pay seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 Canadian for a truck today. And as you're moving around on a construction site, it's going to get dinged. That's the bottom line. And the dings are always caused by an impact that is basically that. And the ding exists and you're stuck with it. And the true truck owner will just leave the ding. 
Not that they'll be happy with it, but they can't afford to just take it into the shop because of that small little ding. It's their livelihood. This Tesla truck will kind of prevent that mentality. It's one less thing to worry about. But then again, it has a beautiful cover. One of the big things about trucks is deciding on the cover, how you cover everything up. You want something solid, you have to get certain types of covers. Tesla kind of figured that out. But having the ramp, now see this, this to me is, I, is huge. I cannot tell you the number of times I wished I could have a ramp off my truck. Having the air suspension, having the adaptive suspension, it is beautiful. The ability that that truck can just tilt, I can walk up on it, I can do what I got to do, walk off of it. You have to understand the usability of this truck. It makes perfect sense. I use trucks. I don't just talk about trucks, I use trucks. I currently use an F-150 XLT. Let me tell you something. That car, that truck has withstood the test of time. It has been through everything. It was, it's a great truck, no issues. Frankly, the only time I pay attention to it is when I got to go pick up materials, drop off materials, and as quick as I can, I rush it back, get my car, and that's it. I don't drive it because I want to. I drive it because I have to. And I think this is a very big selling point for me. Tesla brought up a truck that I want to drive. I don't mind going to the job site all day long. I don't mind leaving it there. I can use the truck and I can use it the right way. This matters. This truly matters. So now we're going to talk about the price. The price is absolutely spot on. In fact, it is by far cheaper than I thought it's going to be. I thought the starting price of this truck is going to be around $59,000 US. I was dead wrong. It's at $39,000 US. Now, granted, I have to point out that with $39,000 US, you're only getting 250 mile range on a full charge. Considering the fact that you can use the outlets, you can use the 110, the 220, eh, maybe that's good. Well, if you're a local contractor, so let's say you're working in a, one district, plenty, but I would go higher. I would go with a dual motor and increase that range to 300 miles. That gives me a tremendous amount of ability to just do my job, use the outlets, let my tools be charged. And this is the car I ordered. This is the truck that I put my order in for. I know what its capabilities are gonna be. I know the adaptive suspension, how that works. I know how the air, air suspension works. I own a Model S. <laughs> I love the more I love the fact that I can raise and lower my car. I use that daily. The little things add up. But for the price you're paying for it, it's a no-brainer. All right. We got past all of this and ultimately it just comes down to the usability of the truck. It comes down to individual bases. Who likes what and why? Some people love the futuristic look. I've seen so many people talk about how much they love the truck. And then I've seen other, even fellow YouTubers who are coming out and saying, I, I don't know what the heck Tesla just did. This looks ugly. I recently just checked. I saw a post on, um, on my uh, Twitter account and it's like 300 and something thousand pre-orders of this truck. 300 plus thousand and oh by the way that was yesterday that i checked this is two days later i'm recording this saturday morning because after watching the unveiling the second i had the chance to actually order the truck i did i was one of the first ones to order it and i'm happy i did but i wanted yesterday i want to take yesterday to really reflect to really look at all the options and after taking the time to look at all my options, after taking the time to look at everything I've seen there, all of the specs, all of the details, the design, I've come to the realization I made the right choice. This is absolutely worth it. In fact, it is the only time I've ever looked forward to buying a truck. And for the price, 
it is perfect it is spot on actually to be honest it's even cheaper than i thought i feel like i'm getting this for a steal i really do if you look at your typical trucks out there you'll understand what i'm talking about this is basically a steal at this point so now with all that said i want to know your opinions i want to hear your opinions i want to know exactly what you think about this truck and please be honest don't hold back just let me know what do you truly think about this truck keep in mind the design is something that is functional it does make sense so sit down take a look at it and think about the usability of this truck and then understand the design aspect of it analyze why this particular design happened and when you start looking at every angle you start looking at every little nook and cranny you'll start to understand this is probably the most functional design Tesla could have come up with for a pickup truck. With all that said, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate your uh, support. I'm trying to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers, so help me out there if you can. If you liked the video, great, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I completely understand. I take criticism very well. With all that said, I hope you guys drive safe. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Bye-bye.